today I'm going to show you guys 15 plus Easter eggs that you didn't know in the A-frame cabin. The first Easter egg is found under the porch. There's a frog there. Lego loves to put frogs in Lego sets. The next Easter egg is actually found in the instructions in the first bag. You'll notice an Italian flag and a cardboard box, which is a reference to the designer and the fan designer who's from Italy. Before I show you guys the interior of the A-frame cabin, aka the most underrated Lego idea set, I want to give a shout out to Luke J. Breck. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. There is another poster on Buzz door. It says, name of the designer of the set. And this is a comment from the every Easter egg in the Home Alone set, which is a callback to what I'm doing today with every Easter egg inside the A-frame cabin. Anyway, to the inside. Simply by extracting these side panels here and this top section, we have a clear access to the inside of the A-frame cabin, which brings us to our next Easter egg. This guitar here, I don't know if you can see that, there is... A guitar there there we go that is a reference to the designer the fan designer and here is a record player and there's also a couple of records in this bookshelf here and that is like a, like I said a reference to the fan designer he loves music just above the guitar we can see the blacksmith sign this is a reference to the medieval blacksmith which I just happen to have right here there's that sign so it's really kind of cool that they incorporated that into really good Lego idea sets. On the back of the model we can see what is an Octan gas tank. This is a reference to Octan which is a very well-known gas company in Lego City and other Lego uh, companies as well including the Lego movie. And here we have the next which is a typewriter. This is a reference to the Lego ideas typewriter. There's also a couple of news stories here. This is the Donut Thief still out there one this can be found on the I believe the police station set and there's even a few birds uh, on the uh, trees there some might have something to do with the donut thievery but who knows once again just Easter eggs another cool reference can be found just by opening the front door and there's a Lego doormat that is printed that goes right there right when you first walk in which is a super cool tile to have before I snap on the next floor what is that red piece that is actually a Lego piece that our minifigures could be playing with in the set. And if we stick the next floor on top, you will notice more Legos. Sorry, I meant to say Lego. So this here is a reference to the Lego Ideas Treehouse, which I actually have. Here it is, right next to the Home Alone set, which I'm very fortunate enough to have as well. But yes, it's so cool to see that they made this micro scale in another Lego set. Another Lego set that they made miniature is the Caterham Lego Ideas set from, oh, f many years ago. I don't own this one, but it's kind of cool. Personally, I don't plan on getting it, but it's still cool to see that they've made it on this set. As I wind down this video, there's just a few more Easter eggs. The camera here, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe it's a reference to the fan designer. Uh, he enjoys photography. Um, and there is a little acorn there. Remember when I said to watch and pay attention to that squirrel? There is an acorn printed piece right there under the bed. So I bet you that squirrel might be sneaking in the A-frame cabin later tonight to take it. And the final Easter egg that I wanted to end on is this blue cottage, which is a call out to the uh, fan designer's uh, post. He posted this on Lego Ideas a few years ago, I believe. And so yeah, it's super cool. And there are no stickers in the set, all prints. But that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if I missed any Easter eggs. I want to know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to DL Studios. And I'll see you guys next week.